Hey, it's you. You're the TV guru guy. <laughs> yes, Tony Robbins. Pleased to meet you. Yeah! Well, it's interesting. The Fairley Brothers are, are friends and fans, and, and they're brilliant, funny, crazy guys. And they invited me to participate in the movie, and I, I, I didn't turn them down. I just said no, because it just wasn't, wasn't for me. And when they brought me the script, I was moved by it, because the message is about inner beauty and not being a surface-driven person. It was part of what my life's about. Hypothetical situation. Which do you prefer, a girlfriend missing one breast or half a brain? Ooh, toughy. And then I found out that the story was written by a man who'd bought my personal power audio program off of television, off an infomercial years ago. So I said, yeah, I want to do this. And I wasn't originally in the script. They were using this like seance guy to do this. You got a pattern of looking at women and judging them by the exterior. You know, they wrote the script and you know, none of it was really me. And I said, you know what, I've memorized this and I'm very respectful. You put me in the middle of this movie as a central character. And, but this is not what I'd say. So I'll do what you want, but can I just show you what I'd really do? And they go, Tony, it's a movie. I said, just, you know, let me try. You think of one specific time where you're really shallow? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got one. I got think about that. Okay. Right? <laughs> Devils, come out! What the hell are you doing, banana hands? So that heel scene where I smack him on the head, he had no idea that was coming. They had no idea they were coming. In fact, they laughed so hard when it happened that the, his reactions are not fake reactions. They're not acting reactions. They were real reactions because he didn't know it was coming. And then they, they shot the thing 15 angles because everybody's laughing so hard. The cameras were shaking and everything else. But, you know, that's my approach. My approach is jar people into reality quickly, not talk about things. I, and it was a great privilege to be part of the film. And, and uh, I have no desire to be an actor, but I'm grateful that I was part of that great little story.